what is absolutely popping my lollipops it's your girl lola Wolda, and i'm back with another video the lord has a message he has wanted me to release and share with his people please make sure you guys take this message back to the lord most high in prayer okay so i'm gonna start this is this is a thick message so get comfortable i actually kind of like the whole idea of putting all the messages in one well at least the ones that he gave me for the day instead of like separating it um because they all tie in together basically like to an extent we're gonna start with the dream the lord gave me and literally the attack i dealt with so um in the gym i was like cleaning tables with a co-worker right and after spraying down the counter the towel um i was about to use uh, i was getting ready to use it was levitating like it was floating on its own and um that's when i woke up to sleep paralysis and it's so crazy like in the sleep paralysis I knew I was being held down. And of course, my first thought is to call upon the name of Jesus. The whole time, I couldn't even move my mouth. Like, I couldn't even move my mouth. I felt this whatever entity pull on my lip and they held me down. Like, literally holding me down. Um, <clears throat> and I was not able to snap out of it. I even remember in the moment, I, was, I had my phone literally laying right next to me. And I was trying so hard to just move to grab my phone. I couldn't even do that. And then um, after, of course, attempting multiple times to call upon the name of Jesus, in my mind, I was calling it, but it was not projecting. Um, I was then loosened. I was loosened from this hold. And um, it's so crazy because prior to this mini dream I had, mind you, this is a two-part dream. This is the first part of the dream. And then I had a second part, which we're not going to discuss today today. The second part, because the Lord has yet to give me revelation on the meaning and sharing my dream without a meaning makes no type of sense at all. Um, but what I can say is the Lord woke me up like around four o'clock to do warfare. And this dream with me wiping down the table and then waking up to sleep paralysis happened like around 521 a.m. is when I was able to be free and type what just happened to me. Um, so he woke me up around four to do warfare. And it's so crazy because before I went back to sleep after my warfare prayers, I was praying for the spouses, right? Because they're under attack and the Lord has just uh, made that very clear to me recently. See, the devil does not like love. He does not like the idea of love. So the spouses are under attack right now. They are literally under attack. They are, the t they are under attack. I don't know how else to even say that. So they're dealing with a lot of warfare. So you need to be praying for them. And it's crazy because um, the Lord showed me something. Um, after this dream, he showed me these demons. And they were screaming. Like when I say, <laughs> they were screaming in agony. Like, oh my gosh. And then I heard, when we pray, they scream. When we pray, they scream. See, John 14 verse 14 says, yes, ask me anything in my name and I will do it in the name of Jesus. So whenever you say that name, Jesus, it burns them up. It burns these demons up. They cannot take it. They cannot control it. Okay. There is fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Why you don't want me to say that name? Fire. It's fire. There is fire. They don't know. Δεν γνωρίζουν ότι είναι σε ένα καζάνι. Αν του βγάλει εσύ έξω, Um, like I said, we're not going to discuss this here until the Lord gives me that go, go ahead, because right now I don't have revelation on it. Um, so I saw a ladybug land on my car earlier today <clears throat> and I don't take ladybugs lightly because just like butterflies, they're one of those like cute little, um, creatures that the Lord created 
that um, are harmless to us, basically. And it's crazy because it reminds me of the time where a bee flew into my car. And this is around the time when the Lord gave me the message about the milk and honey message. And then the bee flew into my car. I'm going to, of course, put footage on the screen so you guys can see. Um, but this right here means um, you need to take more time to relax and enjoy yourself in the Lord. So I told you guys this message yesterday about the vision the Lord gave me in the in our last video, most recent last video before this one, um, how uh, you were on a picnic with the Lord and then it transpired to you being on a picnic with your person, with your significant other. The Lord is saying, take more time to relax and enjoy yourself in the Lord. He's emphasizing that we should enjoy ourselves in this single time. Um, this message is not just for me because I can definitely feel it is to be shared. The Lord wants us to be careful also during this time because temptation is ahead. Temptation will come and there's going to be a test that the Lord will test you before this drastic change. Because not only do ladybugs mean take time for yourself, take time to relax in the Lord and make sure you're cautious. It also um, means to be kind and patient with people. So I don't know where the test, what the test is going to intake, but just make sure that you're fully walking in spirit. Um, that's how I've been passing most of the tests the Lord gives me is to just walk in spirit and be very gentle when uh, things happen. I just consult with God, immediately consult with God. I just run to God about everything. I'm like one of those big babies. Like that's how I want to be with God is a big baby. Honestly, I just lean on him for everything. Why should I stress? He placed me here. So all I am really for him is a vessel and I have to take care of my vessel and I can do that. Okay. Nope. No, you ain't got to worry about me on that part. <laughs> Uh, ladybugs also means success and better life ahead. I've been telling you guys about this uh, wealth transfer that is about to happen. A lot of you guys are going to also experience it, okay? Uh, there's going to be love, good news, happiness, progress ahead as well. Favor in your plans in life. So there are plans that you have, um, you know, maybe towards your business, maybe towards marriage, family, um, just self care, whatever the case may be, it's good. You're gonna have favor in it. There are gonna be people around you who are willing and ready to help you, and these people are appointed from God. They're like destiny helpers. Um, I will call it. Next thing the Lord showed me because He was like literally talking back to back to back. I don't really like to just make little little increments of videos. Instead, I just like to go over everything He has showed me and see where what makes sense. You know. Either way, the Lord showed me a heart with a witch looking at this big, like it was a big heart. Like I could even show you guys if, it, if you guys are able to see it, but it's this big heart and this witch was looking at it. You can see the witch's hat. Um, and what this told me was the enemy is after God's chosen. So this heart represent God's chosen, the people that God has handpicked and chosen for his ministry, um, to come. Right. So we are making a lot of things shake. A lot of us are, been praying have been making a lot of things shake in the camp of the enemy the enemy is losing a lot of things to us and uh that kind of explains why i i was in sleep paralysis last night like i was uh how the enemy was able to do that that was a demonic attack basically when you get sleep paralysis it's an, it's an attack the enemy does not like what you've been doing that's why i felt such a pressure on my lip like i said like i felt like he was pulling my lip not only where i was i being pressed down but he was pulling on my lip so is this tongue something about this tongue you guys need to be praying i don't know if you guys pray Find ways to pray. I even have the person I get my prayer points from linked in my bio. I hope you guys read the bio because I leave some detailed stuff in there for y'all. It may be the same link, but that's the guy. That's the guy that is my prayer guy. I don't really change the link because why? Um, so keep making things shake in the camp of the enemy. You're doing a great job. Uh, that's why the enemy, the witch, is looking at the ch the Lord's chosen. So there's probably a lot of witchcraft being done on the, uh, the chosen of the Lord. So make sure you guys take this back to God as well. Um, the Lord showed me a bell. He actually showed me two bells. Um, I don't know if I drew this in a way y'all can understand, but that's the kind of bell. <laughs> kind of looks crazy i drew it weird but that's the kind of bell he showed this to me twice so bells usually mean warning take heed um i already told you guys to go read um 
Micah. Go read the book of Micah. That's where the general warning is. I told you guys about this. I read the whole warning to you guys in the last video. So please go watch that if you haven't already. Um, but yeah, the, the, the warning, it means take heed. The bell means take heed. It's a warning. And then the Lord brought me to Exodus chapter 28, verse 33, 34 and 35. It says, and beneath among, um, upon the hem of it, thou shalt make pomegranates of blue and of purple and of scarlet round about the hem thereof, the bells of gold between them round about a golden bell and pomegranate, a golden bell and a pomegranate upon the hem of the robe round about. And it shall be upon Aaron to minister and his sound shall be heard when he goeth in unto the holy place before the Lord. And when it cometh out that he die not. So I, I don't know if I told you guys about, okay, well, if you guys watch the warning, um, the Lord is warning a lot of the leaders and false prophets of our generation, right? This simply means that there's about to be a wrath about to take place. If you guys hear a lot of deaths, in the celebrity category or the people that lead like the a little bit of famous people um i don't have names i don't have people but they know what they do people know themselves if they fall in the category they know themselves um these people have been leading thousands of the lord's people astray so the lord is basically saying that it shall be upon aaron to minister so this bell is to sound, um, and it will be heard when he goes into the holy place before the Lord. So what the Lord is telling us, this warning, this heed, is to go into the holy place. It's telling us, go into the holy place. Go and seek the Lord. That is what this heed is yelling at us today. And when you come out, you will not die. You will be protected. So continue to go into your quiet place. Go into your holy ground, you know, where the blood of Jesus resides in your home. And make sure that you are praying, okay? Next thing I see is a man falling, and he's falling fast. I mean, fear, you can even tell, the fear of this fall overtook his face. He looks so, like his eyes is bulging out. He's like... Like, it's just straight fear, you guys. And um, he was falling very fast. Fast. Very, very fast. Okay? Um, so, this is basically what the Lord has showed me. Um, we need to be prayerful in this time. Okay? Our, all of us are literally under attack. The enemy is not liking what is about to happen. Of course, he doesn't like it. He is the reason for the delay of the spouses because he is attacking them. He's probably giving them intrusive thoughts. He's probably just suppressing them, uh, attacking them, basically. Like, he does not want to let them go. And they are wanting, they want to be let go because, you know, in order to follow God and, and what God has planned for them, they have been praying. And that's how you really get the, the devil's attention, by being that by picking up your Bible and praying, when you get the devil's attention, of course, he's going to try to attack you. So don't be scared. The Lord does not give the spirit of fear. We hand the spirit, the spirit of fear back to the enemy because it's not yours. And we continue to pray. And sleep paralysis does not scare me. If anything, I was there giggling. Like, you're so lame. You got to hold me down. You got to pull on my lip. Like, that's how scared you are. Because you know. And you think that you're going to install fear in me? No, demon. No. And as soon as I was loosened, I began to pray. And started putting fire back in their body. Because that's basically what they need is that attack. You need to attack them. Straightforward. You know what I'm saying? It's just... Wow. God is good. Okay. God is good all the time. All the time. My God is good. Ew. <laughs> Anyways. um, Yes, yes, yes. Shall we pray? Holy Spirit, I just want to thank you so much for this word that you have placed on our heart on my heart to share. Mighty God, I pray that, Lord, you will meet each and every one of your people at the point of their needs in the mighty name of Jesus. Every spirit of death over our lives, over your children's life, Father God, let it be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. Hold on. The Lord just put something on my heart right now. See, hell was not made for us. Hell was made for the enemy. 
But people that go to hell are basically saying, Lord, I want nothing to do with you. I want nothing to do with your peace. I want nothing to do with your love. I want nothing to do with your presence. And hell is eternal separation from the Lord. Why would you choose that? And the people that say, oh, God is not real. I can, I can just not agree with you at all because it's plain in our sight. And the day you can show me something that can replicate blood, that can replicate veins, that can replicate our brain, that can replicate a moving being, a breathing being, fingerprints, the fact that fingerprints are not even duplicated, hmm. not to talk of fabricated, baby. When you can show me a God that can do that, that's the God I will pray. See, what I did, I just went straight to the source. Why am I here? Who placed me here? What entity placed me here? And the Holy Spirit revealed himself to me. He is real. Very real. Realer than real. Okay? And I pray you see it because what hell is is just eternal separation from his love. Eternal separation from his peace. And why dabble in sin at all? Why cheat on him? He wants a relationship with you. Why are you cheating on him? Be loyal to God. 100% be loyal to him. Just like Ruth was loyal to Rebecca. No, Naomi. <laughs> Ruth was loyal to Naomi. Okay, so be loyal to God. He's a good God. And he, oh my God, she will provide for you in every way. I pray for you. That the goodness of the Lord will never leave you. It will never cease in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for your favor, Holy Spirit, to pour upon your viewers. These ones belong to you. These are your children, mighty God. Every ear that has ear, let them hear in the mighty name of Jesus. Mighty God, I pray you will drag them into the kingdom of heaven with you. Father God, I pray that you will assist them into doing what pleases you in Jesus' mighty name. To have a heart after your heart in Jesus' mighty name. And every attack over every spouse over this nation. Mighty God, those attacks will be sent back to sender in the mighty name of Jesus. They will not prosper in Jesus' mighty name. Father, every moment that you give us to relax, I pray that, Lord, we will take it and enjoy ourselves in you in Jesus' mighty name. I pray that, Lord, every temptation that comes our way, Father God, we will overcome it in Jesus' mighty name. Success and better life ahead is our portion in Jesus' mighty name. We received your love. We received good news. We received happiness. We received progress in the mighty name of Jesus. Favor upon our plans in Jesus' mighty name will happen over our plans, over our businesses, over our finances in Jesus glorious mighty name. Thank you heavenly father for the heart that you've given each and every one of us and the breath that you have passing through our lungs. Mighty God, we give you all the glory, all the honor, all the adoration, all the praise in Jesus glorious mighty name. We pray. Amen. Be blessed. Make sure you guys be careful. Don't get robbed. I will never DM you guys to prophesy to you nor to ask you to sow a seed. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Become a lollipop today. Join the mob because we are uh, team Jesus over here, okay? Suckers for Christ because we have a weak, a weak spot for Jesus Christ. And uh, be blessed as you obey in Jesus' mighty name.